<laughs> see you, I guess, yeah. a long time to yeah. see. Yeah. I wasn't really expecting you to be here. It's great. Jen. Been, Been best, best friends, friends forever. forever. Well, since we were ten, met at ballet class, and ever since then, we became inseparable. The damage was irreparable. Jen's like my sister, and Sarah's like mine. Friends till the end of the line. Had nothing much in common. Loved horses, loved shoes, but we were attached at the hip. Jen was like a goddess, my mentor and muse. She was a nerd and a drip. But we would be together every hour of the day People would see us and say It's Jenny and Sarah, two peas in a pod Well, if one pea was perfect and one pea was odd First string and spare on the volleyball squad Happy and gregarious, my pros were just vicarious Woo! She'd point the spotlight, she'd bask in the shine Friends till the end of the line My skin was just like porcelain, hers was all zits my pores were perpetually blocked. I developed early, she had no tape. My cupboard was woefully stocked. Why would I be seen with such a social refugee? Cause you always look good next to me. That's right. So we were Jenny and Sarah, a vulgar display. The queen of the prom and her weird protege. I stole. I ran lights in the school cabaret. I mean, have you heard Sarah sing? Good golly, it's embarrassing. Uh, we were contrary forces who somehow combined friends till the end of the line. Then something crazy happened right after 12th grade. That summer I blossomed and bloomed. I stepped into the sunlight after years in the shade. And a beautiful swan was exhumed. Meanwhile, I was working at the local Dairy Queen. Ballooned up to plus size 16. Uh, Jenny. 18. Oh, it's just so delicious. We both showed up at college and no need to pretend I was popular right off the bat. And everyone was asking Sarah, who is your friend? The one who's so interesting, fat. All this malice aimed at Jenny was quite startling and new. So I did what all best friends would do. I said, I'm Sarah. She's Jenny. We used to be close. Now she's desperate and clingy and sort of morose. I heard she gobbles peanut buster parfaits by the cross. And now the world is there, a sight more tragic than this parasite. So that is our story, and ain't it divine?